Ever since the start of 2020, it seems as if the whole world has been focused on one headline. Coronavirus. With over 9 billion search results, the coronavirus has proven it won't go down without a fight. And this is just the beginning. Americans living in coronavirus hotspots should wear cloth face masks. People are 20. The coronavirus has covered news stations for weeks with stories of the rising death toll and the number of reported cases. We have over 10,000 new cases, 102,000 total tested positive. Number of deaths, highest single increase in the number of deaths uh, since But since started. the outbreak, many parts of life have changed. Empty streets, picked off grocery stores, and online school seems like the new norm. How are you doing? Well, let's see, Ella and Gabby. However, one of the most impacted areas are restaurants. On March 16th, Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas ordered restaurants to close their dining rooms and only offer their food to go. Take a look at this. Since early March, the restaurant industry has lost upwards of $25 billion, with more than 3 million jobs lost. This is a similar story for The Mix. At their Overland Park location, The Mix employs over 25 workers. However, since the outbreak, they've had to scale down to only managers and a few kitchen staff workers. This means that they had to cut over 80% of their employees because they couldn't support a full staff. One of those employees is Zoe Baldwin. How are you? So when you were still working during the virus, what were the conditions like in the restaurant having to deal with curbside pickups? Um, it was a lot easier because you were able to just bring the food out to the customers as it's ready. The customers seemed to like it since they didn't have to come in, since people are obviously worried about germs and everything. It's easier to keep all of that under control. How have you had to like alter your lifestyle to compensate for lost income? So far, I feel like I haven't had to change anything too much since I'm able to collect unemployment. I feel that my lifestyle has pretty much stayed the same. So what was it like filing for unemployment? Because I know a lot of people have had trouble kind of being accepted to collect unemployment, so I'm wondering what that's like. Pretty straightforward on the application. So I thought it was pretty simple because they kind of just pull stuff based on your social security number. And then every week you just file a small one but they've really gotten rid of a lot of the questions because a lot of it doesn't apply to people that are laid off due to coronavirus since you're planning on coming back to work. So collecting unemployment, is it similar to the normal paychecks you were making or is it a little bit less? It's definitely less. I wouldn't say it's half, maybe like a little bit more than half. Um, so it's definitely less, but it's just different because it's a weekly paycheck instead of a bi-weekly, which is what we need. Oh, okay. So comparing that, it's kind of hard for me to tell like how much less that is. Yeah. Like what I would make before, depending on if it's a normal week or... For the people watching this not following the protocol, realize that there are millions of workers begging to get back to work, but the constant person-to-person -person contact is preventing that from happening. Families across the country are struggling to make ends meet, and the sooner they return to work, the sooner we can get back to normal life. So please, stay home for the 20 million Americans who lost their jobs because their lives depend on it.